if you have a Canon and you want to hook it up to your Mac, Google do Mac Canon EOS utility. The first thing that pops up is usa.canon.com internet portal US home support. So I'm going to click on that. When I go here, I'm going to find my Canon that I have, and it's a EOS Rebel T5. I'll click on that. And it drops me down to the drivers and download. I want to get the EOS utility for Mac. Click on select, and then click on download. It's downloading right now. Okay, let's put this aside. It should pop up in my downloads. You can drag it out. And you double click on this, and it opens up and it has the DMG, just like PC has EXE, Max have DMGs. You double click on that, and that will open up your EOS. So this is what it looks like right here, EOS utility. So I'm going to click on it, and right now it's looking for my camera. It's like, uh, where is it? I'm going to turn my camera on now. Click on. I have it tethered to my laptop. And then you have some choices here. You can start to download images. You can let you select and download images, camera setting, remote shooting, register, background, music. I'm going to click on camera settings. When you do that, it opens up this part right here. And the really cool thing about this oops, is that you can double click on the ISO and you can bring the ISO up. And this um, takes over your camera. You can press this button right here. Let me take the camera cover off so it doesn't does, doesn't make all those noises. The utility app is pretty cool. Live view shoot is right down here. Click on that. And I have the camera pointing at the computer actually right now. So whatever I point this at, you'll see. And if I point it into the screen that I'm shooting, it does like the infinite loop right there. Whoa. If I want to take it out a little bit, you um, I don't know how to focus while I'm in this. So I have to um, uncheck live view, close the window. So usually you have it on a tripod at this point and you've already focused on to what you want to do. So this is usually for um, portrait shots and uh, product photography. This could be for fast shots if you know exactly where you're going to be going. So um, you press the button right here when you're ready to shoot. And then the picture opens up right here. There's your picture right there. I want to close it. You can, you know, check this all out and go in here in the Instagram and all kind of crazy stuff that's going on here, the histogram. And um, live view, compose. Now... I'm going to close these two pictures, these two boxes, and that, did you hear that? It was a clicking it, um, taking off the live view shoot. Now I'm live with my own camera. I can um, focus and do whatever I want. I can put different, I can go in here and put another f-stop, or I can do anything I want. It's really cool, right? Want to find out where my pictures are? Click right here where it says pictures. And then that'll pop up right here. And these are some pictures that I took. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> this was at school. Press the space bar. It'll open up. You can see what's going on. And then press space bar again, and it goes away. Okay, guys? Awesome.